all right welcome to all i mass tv again yeah we are again i'm sorry uh i've not been able to upload a video for the past few days uh due to some issues i'm having with my uh, laptop um try to fix it okay all right but today we have a challenge on exponential uh, equation and the question says uh, 2 to the power of x minus 17 all over 2 uh, equal to uh, minus 2 to the power of 2 minus x what there will be the value of x before we go into today's challenge if you're new to this channel kindly subscribe and when you subscribe turn on the bell notification button so that youtube can notify you whenever we drop our new video because on this channel we drop new videos every day okay now let's go into today's challenge without much waste of time we take our selection from here selection all right we put down our equation which says here we have 2 to the power of x minus 17 all over 2 equal to minus 2 all to the power of 2 minus x how do we solve this now if you look at this the left hand side of the equation is carrying a negative sign and here we're also having a negative sign and this is a constant and so we can rearrange the system to uh, give us um, bring this quantity on the right hand side to the uh, left hand side so this will now give us 2x here we have a minus side turns to plus 2 to the power of 2 minus x or equal to this is a negative um, 17 all over 2 this now turns to positive 17 all over 2 having done this now we look at our equation very well we can rewrite this expression here now okay because um according to the law of uh, indices it says that if you have something of this kind let's assume you have uh, a to the power of uh, x minus y this is same thing as a to the power of x times let's use dot here a again to the power of minus y all right because if we take this and add these two powers together it's going to give us what we have in here all right and so if we succumb to this rule here we're going to have this expression to be a 2 to the power of x plus 2 all to the power of 2 dot 2 to the power of minus x or equal to 17 all over 2 good we deal with this negative um x here now record that we have if we have a all to the power of minus x this is same thing x of one all over a to the power of positive x so if we apply that here we're going to have this to be two to the power of x plus two to the power of two dot one all over of two to the power of x or equal to 17 all over 2. okay now we look at this again if we look carefully we have to eliminate this 2 to the power of x here okay so we multiply all through by 2 to the power of x at the same time let's multiply true by these two also so we want to eliminate these two and numbers here now two to the power of s and two yeah so if we do that this is going to give us here two to the power of x dot two to the power of x dot two okay then plugs our two to the power of two um dot one all over two to the power of x dot uh two to the power of x dot two equal to 17 all over 2 dot uh, 2 to the power of x dot 2 okay now if we now look at this what we have here now is very simple here we cannot cancel out dix dix 2 to the power of x we go with this these two we go with this uh, two here and so we are here now left with here we are having 2 to the power of s times 2 to the power of x so if we add the two powers according to the law of indices we're going to have this to be uh 2 all to the power of 2x dot 2 then plugs 
Here we have 2 to the power of 2 will give us 4 and 4 times 2 will give us 8. So here we're going to have here 8 or equal to, here we are now left with 17.2 to the power of x. Okay, so from here, let's proceed and see what this gives us from here. Let's proceed. If we take this, because we are having 2 to the power of x here, now we can separate this. If we separate this, we're going to have this to be, here yeah, we have 2 into 2 to the power of x or to the power of 2. Okay, so everything we have here is the same thing as this. At this point, let's move this stem to uh, the right-hand side. And so this will give us minus 17, okay, into our 2 to the power of x, close bracket. Then here we have plus 8 already. So we have here plus 8 or equal to 0. Now we are having 2 to the power of x, 2 to the power of x here. So at this point, we can bring in another alphabet. So we cannot say here, let, let uh, 2 to the power of x be equal to, uh, let's use p. Okay, so wherever we see 2 to the power of x, we put a p there. And so this expression will now become 2 uh, p squared minus 17 p the plus 8 or uh, equal to 0. Of course, this is a quadratic equation. So we solve this quadratically. And solving this quadratically, let's use the factorization method. Now, we are having 2 at the back of p squared. And so we use this 2 to multiply it. And that will give us uh, 16. Then we look for two numbers among the factors of 16 that we will multiply together to give us plus 16 are together to give us minus 17. Okay, so we're going to have here to be uh, 16. So we have here 1, uh, 2 can go, the 4 can equally go, the 8 can go, and 16 itself. So among these two numbers, we take two numbers that we will multiply together, we give us plus 16, add together, we give us minus 17. So from here, this will give us minus 1, minus 16. So we go ahead and plug in these two figures in place of this minus 17. So we have this to be 2 p squared minus p minus 16 p plus 8 or equal to 0. At this point, we can now group dx and group dx together. So let's put this and this in bracket, put dx and dx in bracket. We look out for the terms that are common to both brackets or sorry, to each bracket. And so here we have p. So if we bring out p here, we are left with 2p minus 1, close bracket. Here, what is common is 8. So we have minus 8, bracket. 8 into 16p, we give us 2p. And minus times plus, we give us minus. The 8 into 8, we give us 1, or equal to 0. You discover that what we have in the first bracket is same what we have in the second bracket. So we take one of them and take these two terms that are outside. And so we now have this to be p minus 8, close bracket, bracket, 2p minus 1, uh, equal to 0. Here, yeah, we now suck up to uh, what we call the zero product rule. And so we equate this to 0, equate this to 0. By so doing, we're going to have this to be uh, p minus 8 equal to 0, or 2p minus 1 equal to 0. Of course, this will give us here 8, or the 2p is equal to 1. If we simplify further, we divide this by 2, this will give us here p is equal to 1 all over 2. Therefore, our p is equal to 8 or 1 all over 2. Mind you, uh, at first we don't have uh, p in the system. So we recall uh, where we said let 2 to the power of x be equal to p. And so if we suck up to that, this we turn, give us, so we proceed from here again to get the actual value of x. Recall, I will say let x to 2 to the power of x equal to p. And our first p is equal to 8. So wherever we see p, we we'll put in 8 there. So this now implies 2 to the power of x equal to 8. And 8 can be expressed as 2 to the power of 3. So the basis are the same. And so we now have 2x to uh, 2 to the power of x equal to 2 to the power of 3. Since the basis are the same, they will take care of themselves. So we have x is equal to 3. Okay. On the other side, 
um, we have our p to be 1 all over 2. And so this will now give us 2 to the power of x equal to 1 all over 2. Now, 1 all over 2, according to the law of indices, can be expressed as your 2 to the power of minus 1. And so we now have this to be 2 to the power of x equal to 2 to the power of minus 1. Again, the basis will take care of the cells. So we now have x is equal to minus 1. Okay. All right. From this, it is good we check if our, our answer, our roots are correct. Okay. So we bring in our question and we check. Okay. Let's check. So for us to check, the first value of x is a 3. We bring that our equation, which says we have 2 to the power of x minus 17 all over a 2 equal to a minus 2 to the power of 2 minus x. Okay, so wherever we see s, we're going to put in 3 there. And so this will now give us 2 to the power of 3 minus 1, 7 all over 2 equal to minus 2 to the power of 2 minus 3. And so 2 to the power of 3 will give us 8 minus 17 all over 2 equal to minus 2 to the power of minus 1. Again, we apply the law of indices here to remove this negative uh, 1. And this is all over if it's able 1 also. So if we find the LCM of this and this, this is going to give us 2. So 1 into 2 will give us 2. There 2 times 8 will give us 16. Minus 2 into 2 is 1. 1 into 17 will give us 17. And this will give us minus 1 all over 2 to the power of invisible 1. Okay, if we take away 16, sorry, 17 from 16, we're going to have negative 1. And so this now implies minus 1 all over 2, which is equal to minus 1 all over 2. So this corresponds or gives us a true answer. Let's also look for uh, the second part of it. Let's check with when x is equal to um, minus 1. We put down our equation again, which says 2 to the power of x minus 17 all over 2 or equal to minus 2 to the power of 2 minus x. So wherever we see x, we put in minus 1 in this regard. So this will now give us 2 to minus 1 minus 17 all over 2 equal to minus 2 to the power of 2 minus bracket minus 1, close bracket. All right. Now from here... This will give us 1 all over 2 according to the law of indices. Minus 17 all over 2 equal to, here will give us minus 2. Minus times minus will give us plus. And so 2 plus 1 will give us 3. So we have here to the power of 3. All right. Here we find the LCM of this, which is going to be 2. 2 into 2, 1. 1 times 1 will give us 1. Minus here we have 17 is equal to minus 2 to the power of 3 automatically will give us 8. And so 1 minus 17 will give us here minus 16 all over 8 is equal to minus 8. So 2 into 16, sorry, here is 2 please. So 2. So 2 into 16 will give us minus 8. So this now implies minus 8 equal to minus 8. And so this also proves that um, the uh, answer, which is minus 1, is also correct. So if you have learned something good from this uh, video, um, however simple it is, maybe give the video a thumbs up, okay? And if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification button. Remember, Jix loves you so much. All of us at Online Mass TV love you so much. Do you know why? Because you are always there. Bye for now.